Eliza, the five mate is gone. What do you think, my friend? Are you going to leave Islam? Do you see this is all those are the Muslims? You can't answer anything. All the Quran proved that Allah cannot be God because He do not know the past, He do not know the future. What kind of God? You see, the Bible says, if God is with me, who could be against me? The Bible mentions stories about God stopping time for the Jews to win and have victory. Even their enemy is way more than them. Why the God of Islam, he need to adjust his numbers? If God, he promised you victory, who care if you are one to a hundred or one to a million? Why the numbers will care? Or will change anything? Do we agree? If God is a true God and he said to a child, a child, he is an infant. Nobody can hurt you. Nobody can touch you. Not even America, not even Russia, not even China, not even Pakistan, not nobody. This child will win. Even if he's an infant. Not because he's a child, but because God is in his side. So this God, he promised them to win. And now he's adjusting his numbers and he is admitting that now he found out that they have a weakness. Don't Allah, he knew that they have a weakness before? My friends, none of you dare to debate me. Actually, let me see, there's a Muslim, let me try to call him, even though it's getting late for me, I mean, oh boy. <clears throat> But we cannot resist saving more Muslims out of this madness. Let us see this guy here. He's trying, you can call because I tried to call him. He did not answer. So maybe now it's going to work. Let us see. Give it a, a try. <laughs> yes. had a question why you uh, cut the phone so you're not fair very very unfair man well uh, cut the phone he don't want to answer he don't want to say anything but i had a question as a muslim, well, muslim i answered you say, i answered you i answered you Hello, excuse me Christian. i said i, had your question. I said Same i question. said jesus said i am the living god correct i will take this can i take this and put it on on youtube how you dodge i have everything oh absolutely you can download all the video no problem all my video okay. you can download them i challenge you actually okay don't 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 uh, uh you know don't uh, uh yeah i will do that actually i will cut this and, and i will show everyone that you just you know you're very unfair i have a question you, you start calling you, you, you said you start saying the word shit did you you start calling me. No, I, I did you not. called me potato. I did you not. Me, no, potato. I did not. I called you after I hang up. It's, no, I, it's I called dead, you when man. I'm hanging up. You are a, you are a coward. Okay, it's, so, it's recorded. Okay, so I have a question. I have a question now. Don't change Simple the topic. Question. You asked me a question already. Is Jesus? Don't change okay, the topic. Don't gone? change the topic. You, well, you, I will not. I, I, will not I answered you. I answered you. I will not change. It's, okay, I Jesus answered gone? you. How come your God do not know if the Muslim will win or will lose, and he claimed that they will win and they lost? This is not answer. I'm asking you so simpler question. Are you agreeing? Said, so, so, God okay. In, so, in are Bible? you are you agreeing that your God is not God? <laughs> I am asking you a simple question. No problem. You're asking me, this. and I'm talking to you. When Allah He said to them they will win, I'm showing you a reference. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. I'm showing you a reference. It says that Allah okay. He told ten people they can fight against one hundred. Those but Abdul, I'm asking you, wait, those wait, wait, Abdul, they went thing. to listen, war and they listen. lost. Every every sincere Christian hmm. can hear this. Those that you know your cheerleader, they can cheer, no problem. But everyone, they know you're running. Simple question: Did Jesus say he's God? You're learned man. I Answer just, me. I just showed you. Here we go. Jesus says where? I'm God. Here we go. Where, 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 where? John eight, chapter eight, okay. verse number twelve. Read wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. John eight, chapter hmm. eight, verse number twelve. Okay, so wait now. 
he says he says the sun does not know about about the hour how hmm. is he got yani he's got that he does not know the future did he, did he just say the sun he said of the hour no no he, angels, why you are no, skipping this not what, even the sun why you are skipping the sun did he say the sun he said not even the sun knows but the father okay so he did is, he say so did he say, he did, he say that, he did he say that did he say that he is the son of the father which is the god of the world did he say that but it's contradicting for you no how is That's that you see you. if you just say if you just say if you just say cp okay I CP, I, i'm answering you, you i'm say, answering you did yeah, jesus there yes, yes. did jesus says speaking about god as his father and he is a son yes or no he's he's talking about himself that he don't know about the hour yes okay i'm asking he you now okay so now he announced first that he is the son of god do we agree in that he said not even the son yes no problem but he is the son of god so now if we go and read together we will find that jesus telling you the rest how it works so not all not even the son which means the son is leaving but my question is my, my yeah, friend, exactly my exactly my how friend. is he god then cp listen listen you you have to let me listen you be fair you you did ask the question i'm answering you you did ask but how is you he ask, god you, you asked the question you asked the question i just showed you in the quran yes. that your prophet and your god do not know the future <laughs> and now i'm showing listen, you that CP, jesus CP, he said listen, CP, if you read CP, if you read the holy chapter bit. okay hold be on fair. okay okay let us see did jesus say did jesus says the following things will happen before I come in the same chapter. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Does that mean he knew but the future? Could, yes or no? <laughs> but this could be, this could mean, you know what this could mean? A okay. prophet. Okay. You know what prophet means? He prophesies. Okay. So Moses also knew. Okay. You know, the other prophets, when they prophesied about the Messiah, mm -hmm. so they, they, does that mean that they are God? No. Okay. So prophecies. let us, let us focus on this. Let us wait, focus wait, on wait, this. So yes, we will. We will. Christian. Okay. Uh, Christian no, no, hold on. You just people. said, a prophet so he I can prophesy you, you're a prophet he prophesied to about the judgment day can we compare why are you talking i'm talking about jesus right now but we're talking, talking about, about jesus because you want. according to you jesus is a prophet you're so, so jesus you I just said that. now you yeah. just said that jesus yes. is just making yes. a prophecy correct exactly okay so, so now says, yes. jesus he prophesied you're a prophet he prophesied and he is getting his knowledge from allah correct Look, you you come. I know your tactic. You coming now to Islam. We can come to Islam. There is no problem. Just be fair and answer. We me are being fair. We have to compare. In okay. the same time, okay. Okay. You, you, will wanna, wanna Jesus, you will see Jesus. You will see Jesus, my friend. Recipe. Judgment CP. day. Judgment Muslim. day. Judgment day. Let me. Listen, if I'm you read Muslim, together, let, Muslim, let me let me teach you. Let me teach you and clip your nails. Let me clip your nails. Listen. If you if you read, if you read, you will see Jesus. I'm answering you. Shut up. Shut up. Let me answer. Let me talk. So now Jesus is saying. That me... Jesus is saying that nation will rise against nation, kingdom will go against kingdom, and yes. uh, uh, and he continue describing what will happen before he is coming. Correct? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And then he says and this, he will say, yes, and then this generation, say, and then this generation, which is going to witness all those things, is going to witness a judgment CP. day. Correct? CP. Yes or let no? Me, Hold on. Yes let or me, no? Not, yes don't no don't don't jump! Don't jump! You. Yes but or no? You're not letting me answer. Kashmar, you're not answering. Answer you're not answering now. But I'm asking not, you, do you agree or not? Do you agree or not? That's what Jesus not, said. We are just talking about what Jesus said. We are just talking about what Jesus said. Yes, he prophesied. Yes, he prophesied. Yes. Okay, okay not prophesied. Just hold like on. other prophets. Okay, hold on. Okay. First of all, God is the first this prophet. Is called, and you, God is, is the, called, God is the first Christian God is the first prophet and you are ignorant. Secondly, when Jesus said, when all those things happen, then I will come. And then yes. that hour, that hour, that announcement of the hour is going to be in the hand of my father. So in Christianity, yes. we don't have a predestiny for the day of judgment, yes. not like in Islam. Yes. So when you do yes. all those corruption, when all those things happen, this is why if we go in the Old Testament, we will see that when God, he spoke to, to, to Lot, which is a prophet <laughs> in Islam, he said to him, if there, is ton if there is 20 believers in my town, are you going to destroy the city? He said, no. What about if there is 10? He said, no. So as long there is a true believer, as decent people, God will not bring the judgment day. So Jesus is saying, when, when all those things start happening, and then the whole world is corrupted to the point even the brother is against his brother, human being is killing, stealing, etc., and there's no good people left, then that moment, the Son of Man, he will descend from heaven. And you will see, verse number 30 says, and then shall appear the sign of the, the sign of yeah, the son of you, you see, hold on. you're answering yourself hold on. This is, this i am is answering you, you and you are a coward you don't want let me to talk hold you on let me answer okay, let, let me finish let me finish 
So when <laughs> all those things Christian happen, who is going to who is going to descend to judge the people in the day of judgment? Jesus. But who is the one who is going to announce the day of judgment? That is the Father. So we Christians believe in the Trinity. So and obviously, so shut, up, shut up, shut so up, shut up. No, we don't have two God. We believe in the Trinity, and you are ignorant. But you just said. No, you just, you just I just said. said you just I said, said to no. the Father. You said the Father. But you said the Father. No one thing. I said the, the Father. Son, no so thing. we in Christianity, okay. we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So the Father is the one who will announce it. The Son but, he is going to do judge the but flesh. The son don't know. The so, father announced, but the no, son don't know, yeah? no, you are, <laughs> you are, you are stupid again. Now we go to the Quran, we find <laughs> Allah do not know. know. Do Allah, I, so I answer, you know, you're playing like a kid. I, this is my answer. <laughs> so people are laughing at you. So the father, so the father will announce okay, it. Okay. The son, he will do the judgment in the judgment day. Let me ask you, is it true that but your prophet, is it true, is it true your prophet said that but Jesus will descend? Now, Jesus, shut up. You see, you will not let me talk because you're afraid. You're not, you're afraid. Is it true that he said that Jesus will descend I let you talk and he will now. be the judge? Can, can you give me? He will be how, the judge. How many minutes I let you talk? How how how, how you are many not, minutes I you let are, you talk? You are honest. not answering. Is it true but, that Jesus will be I'm the judge? You, but listen, how, how I'm many confirming minutes I let you the talk? verses in the front of me. How, how many, let us see how, how because many? because you want to see who is the God. Who is the one will judge? God or man? There is two God. There is two God. No, they were one God. You are stupid. But even you even your God, <laughs> even your God in the Quran <laughs> says, even your God in the Quran says that the Christian believe in one God. Are you saying your God is lying? Are you saying your God? Potato. Are you saying your God is lying? You say to me. Are now, you saying your God is lying because the Christian me, believe listen, in one how, God? How is the Christian? How is the Christian Abdul, going Abdul. to believe you? Are you saying C that your God he lies? C C P C C C C P. Abdul, who is the potato here? Who is the potato? Who is the potato? But you you don't. So are you saying <laughs> that your God is a liar when he said that the Christian believe in one God? Listen. You who, just say who to of me, you okay. is, who announces, who, of you, who, who, announce, who knows who, the hour, who, 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 of knows you, the hour? who of you, who knows the hour, Jesus who he knew the hour. the hour, your God does not, and that's no. why you're afraid see, of me talking, see, talking. this is your lie, but he said, Jesus he knew the talk. hour, and this he Bible. said, this is he Bible, just, Bible. Just, this is Bible. potato, Jesus he okay. announced everything will happen right about now. the future, and who is the one who told him that, everybody is looking at you, and look, this Everyone is this is your CCP. God. This is your God. See, he says. He cannot answer. Don't this say Trinity, God, but you no. Know, the Christian liar. they say See? Trinity, but one. See? The Christian they say that God is a Trinity, a liar. and He, he is a one. So you he are a liar Muslim. again. Now, the Muslim that knows, let now him Abdul, he doesn't let him talk. See? do your God in you the judgment day. See? The Quran you're, you're says the judgment the judgment day is near and the moon is split. Is the moon is split as a sign of the judgment day? Is the moon is split in sign of the judgment day? You're very, very unfair. Potato the is, is the judgment day is by splitting the moon. Right now they can see. Wallah, there is Everybody will laugh, will laugh. How God maybe he knew, how God he knew the now, judgment inshallah. day. Yeah. How God he knew the judgment see, day and he claimed that the all, judgment day started see, when the sun the Christians split. See him. Can you see what he does now? Hmm. All the Christians, they must see now what he does. He don't let me talk. See, I let him he talk. He don't let me talk. See, I let you talk. I answered you. It's your time to answer now. If, Listen, now, if, if my God, if my God is not God, hold on, you see, you potato, muta boy, listen, muta boy, listen, muta, listen, muta boy, do your God, you see, the fair question, the fair question, do your God know the judgment day, do your God, do your God know the judgment, stop complaining, do you, okay, say yes, say yes or no, do your God know the judgment day. Yes, but I'm talking okay. about Jesus. So how do you say in Shaq al Qamar, and this is the, the start of the judgment day? But listen, uh, CP. Listen, you CP, I want you to answer. When Allah, he predicted the judgment day, and he says that the moon is you split. Think, you think Did he make a mistake? Did he make a mistake? Do you think, you think the Christians that don't know? Maybe five of them will come become Muslim just because of this. Ah, because you're very a, a billion, a billion. Here we go. Your God, yes, he claimed, he because he simply the moon is split. The moon is split. He, he claimed that the moon is split is a sign of the judgment day. But this is 1400 years ago. So Jesus, he made it clear that I am the son. He is the father. And the father is the one who will be announcing that hour. Because those is not a predestiny. We don't believe in a predestiny. It is us who control. Stop talking. You are a muta boy, coward. We cannot talk in the same time. I will call you back so you can answer. You are a coward. So Jesus, he said it clearly. 
my father is the one who is the one who make the decision of the judgment day i am the son i am the one who will judge the flesh and that what is make jesus god because the one who judge is god no one else and because we believe in the trinity and the son is announcing who is the one in the charge of announcing the day of judgment it is my father and this is what is hurting your feeling so when the when the lord he come in the glory of his angels and he tell you exactly what will happen before his coming he will judge all mankind and he will send your prophet to hell. As you see in the front of you. The Muslim, they jump and they refuse to read the first verses and they jump and says, but only my father. But he just said, my father. So if you are trying to say Jesus is not God, he just said, well, God is my father, and I am his son. <laughs> so how that will not make him God? In the same time, your God is not God, from the same reason you are mentioning. Your God do not know the day of judgment. Your God, he gave Muhammad signs of the day of judgment. If we read them, we will die laughing. And not only that, your prophet Muhammad, your false prophet, he said, the Messiah, he come down to earth as absolute, just and justice. And this is in total agreement with the Bible that the Messiah is the judge of all mankind. Who is the one who would judge the world? God. Let me show the hadith and I will call you. And the funny is, even that story here, which Muhammad he said, proving Muhammad to be false, and we will show him why when he when I call him back. He don't want me to talk because simply it's embarrassment. The second we go to his Quran, people will laugh. You don't want to hear it. It's not good. Bad news. So now let me call you and be a man. And as long as you admitted that the Bible and Jesus saying clearly, my father. So this is the duty of the father and the son have a duty, which is to be the judge. That's all. Now, this is your prophet speaking about Jesus. Let us see if you agree with your prophet or you are going to make fun of him. Wow. Do you, see, do you see the hate in front of you? <laughs> wow, wow. An unbelievable CP. This is not good. 1,500. You think all of them don't know? You don't, You think they don't have heart? They know. And at least 10 or 20 people, they know this. Do you see the hadith? In, do you see the hadith in front of you? Inshallah. Do you see the hadith in the front of you? This, is this Christianity? Here we go complain guys, again. This, I love, I love. I call Jesus. you to is let you talk. Christianity, talk. guys. Okay, okay so okay, now. Is this Christianity? Do you see very, the hadith? Do you see okay, the hadith in the front fair, of I mean? you? Yeah, this is fair. Yeah, this is fair. You're a potato. I okay, answer okay. you. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you okay. might have one. So now answer me. You, so so I answer. Who is the one? Who is the one who will judge? Who is the one who will judge? Stop complaining. You are in the delivery room and the baby is coming out slowly. So now, yes, do you agree? Or do you agree that the yeah, judge in the judgment day is Allah or Jesus? Okay, okay. So when I called you, you who is be the fair, judge in the judgment day? You will not okay, answer. Hello, CP, you, you will not hello, answer. Hello, you will not let, answer. Let, let, let people saying, let them talk. You are Listen, not answering. Say, who is talk. the judge in the judgment day? You, the verses. It is you who chose coward. You will not. You will not talk, right? You will not answer. You coward. You coward. You will not dare to answer. So I'm asking you. CP, CP me, uh, be so, fair. so answer. answer I gave you the I answer. An now it's time for I you have... to talk about what I said, right? Okay. Okay. okay let me so talk. Then. Let me is, talk. Then. Who, let is me the, talk then. who is the judge in the judgment day? 
It's it's Allah. Okay, so read the hadith in front of you. Let me prove. Let read me the hadith. You, read, read the hadith in You're front of you. It says accurate. that the judge in the judgment day is Jesus. I love Jesus. Christians, okay, read, I love Jesus. Read the hadith. Read the, read the hadith. He's not fair. He okay, read the hadith. Christians. Read the hadith. All the Christians. See, Potato, see this guy is not at me. Re listen, you did lie. You said the judge in the judgment day Christian. is Allah. You say Christian. You say the day the judge in the judgment day is Allah, right? All. Read all, the the, all the Christians here, maybe five percent of them, they understand Read your text. The hadith. Maybe five percent okay, of them. Okay, you can say whatever you want. People are laughing. Why you don't want to answer? What's yes, a, what is the problem? What is the problem? What is the problem? What is the problem? Let me talk. You Abdul, don't let me talk. What is the problem? You, you keep saying let me talk, okay, but you never answer. Is, read the hadith. Okay, let me answer now. Let me read, answer. Okay, read it. Read it. Okay, the answer is this. The answer is this. Read it. When I called you, read it. hello. Read when it. I called you, I asked Why you don't want to read okay, it? Then. Why you don't want to read it? Because when I called you, are you ashamed? I, I had a simple question. Are you ashamed no, of your God listen, words? Listen, are you ashamed of your prophet words? Why oh you don't want to read it? I did read for you the verses. Christian, I Christian, answer you. Are Christian, you ashamed? Come. Okay, let me let me. Liar. Uh, okay, liar, son of Muta, potato. Go do Muta. The coward. Do you know why he don't want to read this? Because this is a proof that Allah do not know the future. Neither Muhammad know the future. Do you know why? Muhammad, he said in Arabic, Liyushikna, almost the Messiah is descending. And this was 1400 years ago. If Muhammad received the sign of the judgment day, because this is one of the sign of the judgment day. And he claimed that the Messiah is almost here. That means Muhammad is a false prophet. And this is why he didn't want to read. And not only that. Muhammad, he... told a group of people when the day of judgment will happen. You see, this is a topic is going to make everybody laugh at you and at your prophet. Thank you for calling. There was a kid in front of Muhammad with a group of people. A kid. Muhammad, he said to the group of people, this kid will not live until he become old and the judgment day will come. And this is the hadith. And it is in Sahih al-Bukhari. Do Allah knew the judgment day? Huh? Do Allah knew the judgment day? That's why he didn't want to read. For us, what you see in the Bible is no problem because we Christian, we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Father is the one who will announce the day of judgment. The Son, he have a duty. He is the judge. And this is mentioned in many places in the Bible. So I am the judge. He will announce it. And Jesus always says that the Father sent me. The word Father presents authority. He is not called Father for no reason. The word Son provides certain authority. When Muhammad he said that the Messiah is soon coming down, and then he say that this child between you, he will not grow old. He will not even be like old, really. You know, harem is like, it can be 30, it can be 40, it can be 50. Before he grow old, and the Muslim, look what they do between two brackets. He says, you, he would see you dying. It says, asa, last hour. Muslim, they try to fix it. The trace is this is the hour of death. But the hadith in Arabic is so clear.
Allah, he knew the future. He knew where the sun set. Allah, he knew the future. He knew how the baby is made. The sperm is coming from the backbone of the man or ribs of the women. 1,500, 2,000 people watching and they are laughing. This child will not grow old until the last hour would come. And then the Muslim, they try to fix it by putting two bracket as usual. What kind of a prophet he says stupid things like this? And then if I show you the tons of a prophecy is Muhammad, he mentioned about the judgment day, you will die laughing. As an example, Gog and Magog. Muhammad, he claimed that Gog and Magog, they are existing in his time and they open the hole and they are coming to the point he gets scared and terrified. False prophecy. And the hadith in the front of your eyes. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. False prophet. When Muhammad, he claimed that the people of Gog and Magog, they will attack the Muslims and the Muslims, they will have arrows thrown at them enough to make fire for seven years. Read and love. The Muslim will use the bows and arrows and shield of Gog and Magog as firewood for seven years. Somebody tell Muhammad that Saudi Arabia is buying F-21 from America. They are buying Patriot. Somebody tell Muhammad that there is no more arrows. So in order for Gog and Magog to practice their sign of day of judgment, they are coming in the wrong time. See, this is not like metaphorical. Muhammad is saying they will use it as a firewood. Was that a prophecy given from his God? Was it? Do you see why he will not read? It's an embarrassment. Our Bible is saying what we believe. We believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Finished. A Muslim might say to you, okay, Jesus is praying to the Father. Yes, that's why we have a Trinity. But when Allah, he pray on Muhammad, he pray to who? No answer. And I challenge you to download the video and post it in your channel so everybody will love. And then Muslim, they will see why I hang up in such a boy like you. You are just a kid. You don't want people to see what your prophet said. So Jesus, he tell what you hide. Your God do not know what is hidden. He sent the army, promised them victory, they lose. Not to forget to mention that Muhammad, when he claimed that Zul Qurnayn, he found the people of Gog and Magog, he proved to us again that he is a fraud because Gog and Magog, if they are exist, and the guy he built the dam, and now we have images of everything in the world. Hello? Are you going to read or no? When I called you, I said... Are you going to read or no? Question. Are you going to read or no? I said I have no I answered question. you. I'm going to answer you. We made an agreement. We made an agreement. No. 
Okay, what's the agreement? Tell me. The agreement I, is, I, you ask me, me a question, me. I ask you a question. But don't hang up at me again, it's very unfair. I, the agreement you is, I, you ask me a question, I answer you, and you ask me, I ask you a question, you answer me, correct? Very good, but I okay. answered you about Christianity. No, you did, you did not answer. You, you know. did not answer. I answer you about my Bible. I, I I'm done. You, I called you or you called me? I am done. I called you. Yes. I, am, I am done. When I called you, I said I, I answered you question. about just my Bible. Question. I'm done. I am Muslim. My question is done. I'm Muslim. I will answer 10 questions from Abdul? you, but just okay. answer me one. Did you ask me a question and I answer you already or not? No, you didn't. That's what I'm saying. What do you I'm mean I did not? For you okay, let me, Christian, okay, let me repeat fair, the answer. Let me repeat fair. the answer. Let me repeat the answer. Can, okay. you, can okay. I repeat the answer? Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah, of course. Jesus, he speaks of his father, that the father is the one who knows the day of judgment. For the son, he have a duty, and his duty is to be the judge. The father is the one who announces. This is why there's a father and there's a son. Okay. The son, he is sent by the father to do a certain job, and the job is to be the judge okay. over all the flesh. Okay. The father is the one okay. who decides the day of judgment. So we as a Christian, we believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and this is what okay. we believe. So three God. Now we don't have a three, three God. God. You are a liar again. Don't but make, you just don't say, make but things you, up. Don't make things up. I'm just up. questioning. Stop, stop. No, you're not questioning. <laughs> I'm just asking you. You're not, you're not, you're okay. not questioning. You are making things now. You're making things up. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You know, okay. I will go. With, I will okay, go okay. with you. Can you show me one verse in the Bible that says we believe in three gods? No, because th this is you. So this you are a liar. So you are a liar making things up. Okay. Let me let me help you more. Okay. No, wait, let wait, me wait, help wait, you wait, more. Not, let I'm me help you. Answer. Let me help you I'm more. Not finished. Can you show me I'm one verse finished. in the Quran oh, saying that the Christian believe in three gods? Why are you going to Quran? Because I'm, we are we talking so about you the are Bible. a liar yes, again. So neither the Quran, neither the Bible support what? your claim. That's mean you are a liar. What? Let me ask you again. Read, 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 Is it read, read, true read that the whole Bible you. says we have one God? Your Christians, so your you see why I hang up on you? You are a coward. You are a little boy. And you don't want to just shut up, son of Muta. just go. You don't want to let me talk. <laughs> Coward. We laugh at you. Thank you for calling. You believe in three God. Okay, can you show me one verse in the Bible that says we believe in three God? Hey, no. Okay. What about your Quran? No. So? Are you a liar? They have no dignity. And he will never accept to talk about his religion because it's an embarrassment. For us, we have no problem. God the Son, God the Father. Very simple. The Son have a duty. And he is going to fulfill his duty. The Father, he is the one who will announce the day of judgment. That's all. So when Jesus was on earth, God the Father was sleeping? You are just a stupid fool. There is no logic. It's a mockery. You cannot do mockery with me. I will mock your prophet with the floor. When the Quran says that Jesus, he can tell you what you hide, and Muhammad, the Quran says that Muhammad cannot tell you what you hide. Then we need to ask ourselves, why Muhammad, he mentioned that Jesus, he can tell you what you eat, what you store in your houses. Yet Muhammad, who is a prophet supposedly, and according to Muslim, he is the most beloved, favorite prophet of Allah. Yet he cannot tell you when they ask him a question and said, okay, listen, listen, don't ask me questions. I tell you that I do not know the treasure of Allah, nor I know what is hidden, nor I do I tell you I am an angel. So what are you? What are you exactly? How come Jesus did not say the same? How come Jesus did not say in the Quran? Listen carefully. I do not have the treasure of Allah. Nor I have the knowledge of the hiding. Nor I can tell you any, why, why Jesus did not say the same. Muhammad himself did not dare to say that Jesus do not know. So he come to us with verses in the Quran saying, yes, Jesus, he can tell you what you hide. He can tell you what nobody knows. That is Jesus, my friend. So when a Muhammad and he says, so you have three gods, and we say to him, can you prove it? He say, no, so you are saying, no, we're not saying that. This is our belief, our belief, we have one God. One God, you are the one who have many gods.
And let me prove it to you that Allah have gods. Allah has many gods. I hang up on people only if they don't want to. I, I answer my question. Now it's time for you to answer me. You don't want to answer. <laughs> Coward. They never keep a promise. Muslims never keep a promise. They are following Muhammad. They never keep a promise. Answer. Potato. <clears throat> Allah do not know the day of judgment. He have no idea. And notice that Muhammad he claimed that the Messiah is the one who will come in the day of judgment and he is coming back. That is telling us the whole story. If Jesus is not God, why he is alive until now and all human being is dead? Muslims cannot answer. They cannot. Can you believe Abdul? Let us see this guy here. <clears throat> He's not answering. See the Muslim the Muslim game is it doesn't matter what you say as an answer. Still, you did not answer. So he want to keep talking about the same topic for the coming century. Because he's terrified we will go and speak about his books. Because his books proving him to be a liar. Neither in Islam, neither in Christianity, says that the Christian believe in three gods. Let us call him this guy again. Hello? Yes. Can you stop uh, hanging on me? Why are you not fair? Why are you scared? Well, you are not answering. You see who is scared. Are you going to read what I showed you or not? But I'm asking you one question. Why not are answering? You, I answered you. Why are you going to answer or not? Yes, I'm going to answer. So my okay. question is: So okay, I, when I, you I, I, don't now, don't repeat the question because I answered already. Now I'm asking you: When Jesus, no, when when when, when the Quran, said, when the Quran says that Jesus he knew the future of what you hide in your houses, did Allah make a mistake? No, but you have not answered me when you I say that. You. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. Son, don't waste my time. Wait, Watch, don't waste my time, this? please. You see, I'm trying to talk to you as an adult. I answered you. That's okay. my answer. You don't need to accept it. Okay. I answered you. Yes. Now, okay, so you now it's my turn. It's my turn. I answered you, and you do not have to accept. You lied. You okay. said we believe in three gods, and I asked you, "Does the Bible anywhere says we believe in three gods?" You said no. So you are lying. You are making things up. So now I'm asking no. you, please. After okay. I answered you, you, are, you willing, are you willing to answer me? Did your Didn't prophet? You did your? We finish this? Did your prophet lie? When he said that Jesus can is me, coming down as a judge. You, you lie, no lie, you lie. You never answer me. But ca can you answer me first? I did not answer him yet. I did not. Don't try. You did not answer me yet. That's it. <laughs> Coward. The whole idea is don't put my prophet in the box. Don't. I'm terrified to read my stupid prophet words. I'm terrified to read the stupid Allah words. You did not answer me. So what I did, so you will call me again and they will ask me the same question and I will repeat the same answer and you keep saying that you did not answer me. 
<laughs> what a what a joker you are. Look at this potato who call himself prophet of Allah. He admit that he have no idea about the hidden things. And the one who is saying that to him is Allah. Allah told Muhammad, tell them that you are Muhammad, you are an idiot, you know nothing. So why you call him prophet? In the same time, the same God, he says, that Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses. He can tell you what you eat. He can tell you what you did and what you did not do. Or you were going to do. How? He didn't want to read it. It's an embarrassment. And when Allah, he speak about the day of judgment and then the day of judgment never come. He didn't want to talk about it because this is the same reason he's trying to say that Jesus is not God. The reason what? Well, Jesus do not know the day of judgment. This is his reason. But Allah do not know the day of judgment too. And there's tons of prophecies in the Quran coming from Allah supposedly, proving to, to us that Allah is a false God. Every verse in the Quran actually proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet and Allah is a false God. You see, I don't want to give Allah a hard question. Allah do not even know what the Christians believe. To the point he think that we Christian, our Trinity is Mary and Allah and Jesus. How does God will know the future anyway? He did not even know the past. He did not even know the present. This is the stupid Quran saying that Allah, he said to Jesus, did you say to your people to worship me and my mother instead of Allah? Which a Christian church worship Mary as God and Allah as God and Jesus as a son and Mary is his wife. This is book of God. If this is a book of God, so what is the book of the tomato and potato? The God of Islam, even he mentioned wrong information about both Christianity and Judaism. You see, we're not talking about the, about the future now. Even in the present, this guy, he do not know what the Christian believe. He claimed that the Jews believe that Uzair is the son of Allah. We cannot find one single book, one single Jewish book. Say such a thing, that there is a group of people or even one person He believe in God, his name is Uzair, and he is a son of Allah. And the Jews don't believe in Allah anyway. That's why we find them in the Quran, making fun of Allah, saying Allah, his hand is sealed, or, you know, like he's tied up. A person who believes in Allah will not make fun of Allah, obviously. Chapter 5, verse number 64. The same is stupid Allah, in one verse he says, the Christian believe in the Trinity, in other verse he says, the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. But this is not true. We don't believe that the Messiah, if I, if I take the word Allah here, the stupid Muhammad, we don't believe in Allah anyway. A Muslim he might say to you, do you know in the Arabic translation, they use the word Allah, this is a translation, and this is a false translation. This is why I'm laughing at Allah. If Allah is my God, I will not make fun of it. You see, the Jehovah's Witnesses, I don't make fun of the word Jehovah they use or Elohim, because this is what 
what I mentioned in my book. But we don't believe in Jehovah's Witnesses' belief. In the stupid Quran, the God of Islam, he says, in one verse, chapter 5, verse 17, they disbelieve those who say that the Messiah, son of Maryam, is Allah. In Arabic, it doesn't say God is the Messiah. It says Allah is the Messiah. Change the translator, you will see how stupid this Quran is. Christians don't believe that the Messiah is the Father. And if the Messiah in the Quran is Allah, so who is the second person? Who is the third person? And who is the first? Surely in disbelief are those who say Allah is the Messiah. So take a note. If the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah and Allah is saying them don't believe in the Trinity. So where is the Trinity now? They just say the Messiah is Allah. There is not a single Christian believe that the Messiah is the Father. We believe he is the Son. And that is additional error, proving that the one who wrote the Quran, not only he did not know the day of judgment, he did not even know people who live at that time what they believe. Not a single Christian believe in such a thing. And then if we ask the Muhammadan, and this is the topic today, where is Jesus now? They say to you that Jesus is alive. Question, why Jesus is alive, Muhammad is dead? Why Allah did not save Muhammad the same as he saved Jesus, as you claim? No answer. They will talk about anything but they will not love anyone to talk about their cult. You mentioned something about our Bible, we answered you. We Christian, we know very well what is written in our book, and we love our book, and people are laughing at your claim. When Jesus says, I am God's son, clear word. When Jesus says, I am the living God, clear word. When Jesus asked the Jews, who you, what, you, what you say of a Christ? They said, he's a son of David. He said to them, well, if he's a son of David, then how David call him God? Clear words. False Islam. If we ask the Muslims, who is the one who can forgive sin? They will say Allah, a lie. Allah, he could not forgive sin of Muhammad. And this is the proof. Allah was asking other Allah to forgive sin of Muhammad. While in the Bible, Jesus says, which one is easier to say to him, your sin, go and your sin is forgiven, or to say, go and walk up and carry your bed? A person who cannot walk. This is the stupid Quran, chapter 48, verse number 2. Allah saying, may Allah forgive you, forgive you a sin. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? Why Allah is asking another God, his name is Allah, saying, may Allah forgive your sin. Who is the one is talking? They say to you, Allah. Okay. If the one is talking, he is Allah. Why he say, may Allah forgive your sin? He's making a wish in the birthday cake. When somebody is a Muslim, he says, it's kind of sad. It's impossible for a Christian to prove a Christianity. And why? Because Jesus says, I am God's son. But it is very easy to probe Islam because Allah, he promised you endless penis. 
Very easy. It's not hard to prove Islam. Only through God they promise endless penis and endless vagina. Only through God they promise you 80,000 little boys in heaven around you. It's impossible for the Christian to prove a Christianity, but it's easy to Muslim because we found the sun set in the muddy water. And we found the, where the sun rising from. It's impossible for the Christian to prove a Christianity. But Jesus is the one who made the blind see. He walked in the water. Even you have a, a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of Al-Ma'idah, where Jesus fitted thousands of people from nothing. And he made the blind see, and even he resurrected people from death. And even the Quran says that Jesus, he created it from the mother bird, and he breathed into it. So Jesus in the Quran is a creator. But it's impossible for the Christian to prove a Christianity. It's very sad. But it's very easy to prove that sperm coming from the backbone, brother, of the man. Yes, let me touch my backbone. Okay, I got some sperm there. Proving to be true. It's proven that women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs, brother. Christians cannot bring such a thing. And this is why the Quran says, who can make Quran like this? Nobody. Have you ever heard of a scientist saying that the sperm became a congealed blood? Have you ever heard of anyone, any crazy person saying that congealed blood, which is dead blood, will grow and become a baby? It's very sad. Christians cannot prove their God. Muslims, they can. They can, brother. A Mohammedan saying, you worship a human. Well, this is a proving that you are an idiot again. Why? Because if Jesus is just a human, why he can resurrect people from death? Guys, look at this stupidity. If we ask the Muslims, why the Muslim Christian believe in Jesus as God? They say to you, because uh, Jesus, he did many miracles, so they think he is God. Okay. Okay, Abdul, who is the one who gave Jesus those miracles? Allah! Allah gave him miracles! Okay, hold on. So now Muhammad, he did not have any of the miracle of Jesus. That's why nobody confused that Muhammad is God. Actually, he don't even fit to be in the post office. He's a thief. But because Jesus was so good, and his life is full of miracle, now the Christians are confused. Yes, yes, brother. So when Jesus here is wrecked people from death, who gave him that power? Allah! Why he did that? To make people believe. Believe in what? That he's a prophet. Really? Okay, what about, who is the one who gave Jesus the power to create from the mother bird. Allah! Okay, why Allah he did this? So they believe. Believe in what? That he's a prophet, but now he became a creator. The one who can create from the mother bird, that is not a miracle of a human. That is God. And if the purpose of this is to make a Christian believe in Jesus as prophet, Allah fail, which is proven to us again that Allah is a stupid. Don't Allah knew that when Jesus have all this power, that will make the Christian think he's God? Are we following people? Why we believe that Jesus is God? If Jesus just make a speech, we will not believe him anyway, right? So what? He can say, I'm son of God. But Jesus, he can do what nobody can do. And if this power was given by Allah as Muhammad and they claim, that's mean the one who made us believe in Jesus as God is a stupid Allah. He gave him more power than he should. 
Are we following with me? If the reason to believe in Jesus is the extreme power he has, which no man has ever, and if the one who gave this power to Jesus is Allah, as the Quran claim, that means the stupid Allah do not know the future, bingo. Because if he knew the future, he knew that he, this is too much, bingo. And if Allah do not know that this is too much, bingo. And he do not know that this is will make the Christians believe in Jesus as God, bingo. That means Allah is a donkey, bingo. For we did not believe in Jesus as God just because he said, I am God's son. We believe in Jesus as God for he did what God do. Number one, he was holy. And the stupid Quran confirmed that in chapter 19, verse 19. The angels came to Mary and said, actually the Muslim, they say it's an angel. In different verses says, our spirit came to Mary and says to her, I am here to give you the glad tidings of a holy son. It's holy. Son. How he is holy. And why only Jesus is born, but he have no father? They can't answer. What is the point of this miracle? Nothing really in Islam doesn't make any sense. Because no way to prove it or disapprove it. My mother, she can claim that she gave birth to me and she was a virgin too. Your mother, she can make the same claim. What the point of this miracle? This miracle only will make a sense only if it is in Christianity. For this man is the son of no man. And for he is holy, he is not coming from sexual relationship due to his holiness. So when the stupid Muhammad, he take a story from the Bible and he insert it in the Quran, he got himself busted. If there is any reason that Jesus do not have a father, a Muhammadan, he will say to you, the Quran says, well, Jesus is the same as Adam. Allah said to him, be, and he was. But this will prove again that the stupid Quran is a stupid Quran. Because neither, Allah, neither Adam, neither Jesus, according to the Quran, was created by saying, be, and he was. In the case of Adam, Allah, he made mud. He mixed dust with water. And he made Adam by his two hands. He used his two hands. He did not say be and he was. Read and love. How Allah created Adam, the one who made the Quran, is a certified idiot. In one verse saying, well, Jesus is the same as Adam. Allah, he said to him, be, and he was. In different verse, he says, I made him by my hands. And then after I made him by my hands, I breathed into him. By my two hands, by the way. Do you see the word here? Both my hands? Do you see it? They say to us, Allah is not a human. Right? And this is why the Muslims don't want to talk about Allah knowledge versus Jesus knowledge. Jesus have a knowledge and the Quran confirm that he knew what you are hiding in your houses. He can read your mind. And this is confirmed in the Bible. 
Quran confirmed that Allah has zero knowledge. In one hand, the Muslim, they say to us, you worship a man, and then we find that Allah have two hands. He have five fingers in each. He have a shin, he have a face, and he is a monkey. And this is why those cowards, when they call, they think by flooding you by talking and repeating the same thing forever, they can avoid us from exposing their garbage. Do we have any Muslim? He is a growing adult. He would like to call us. Anyone? And where are you, my uh, Eliza? As you see, here we go. The five minutes became one hour, two hours, and no Muslim dare to answer. Are you going to leave Islam, Eliza? No Muslim show up for rescue. Muslims never keep their promises. I said one question from me, one question from you. You accept? Okay, okay. Once a Muslim, he called me and he agreed that we will speak about, for, about Christianity for... I don't know, one hour or half hour, and then I talk about Islam. He hang up after I finish. Any Mohammedan? Yeah, pray for this lady, Eliza. Obviously, she is being deceived by this stupid cult. You know, I don't think she is a bad person. I mean, what she is saying is not good for me, for sure. But there is reasons. She has been deceived. She's been told that this is good. Do we have any Mohammedan? Any Mohammedan? Do Allah knew the future? No. Do Allah even knew how Muhammad will die? You see, our topic is about how Muhammad he died, right? And we showed you that Muhammad, he said it clearly, he died by poison. But look, Allah, because he is, there's no Allah. I mean, this is Muhammad making Quran. Because he was not sure how he will die, he said. Read and laugh. Please read and laugh. Have you ever heard of a God who do not know how his prophet will die? Jesus, he mentioned how he will die. He mentioned who is going to give him up, who will betray him. He mentioned even the timing when they come. Is that true, Christians? He mentioned all those things before they happen. This is Muhammad speaking that Allah told him this. If he dies or killed, have you ever heard of such a prophecy? Imagine I claim to be a prophet and now my God is going to tell me how I will die in the future. Then I say to you, if I die or get killed, is there a third option? If there is any third option, but because the coward Muhammad, he do not know the answer, so he decided to cover his ass. So he said, if I die or get killed, because he do not know how he will die. Listen, shouldn't Allah here say if he got killed? As long we confirm that he got killed by poison. Why he's saying if he die or get killed? Because simply he do not know how he will, what his end will be. He might die from normal death. He might get killed. You have no idea.
what kind of religion this religion is. Any Mohammedan would like to call us? Last last call, in case you like to get some versions. I have connection. I am an Arab. I can speak to Allah, and He can increase the size of your private part too, depending how much you fight me. Anyone? Actually, we should make a video by itself. Do Allah and you the judgment day? And then you will see what will happen to the Muhammadan. You don't. And we, are, we showed you already many examples. Allah do not know the judgment day. He do not know how the baby is made. They do not know where the sun set. Gog and Magog, you know, Allah, he knew, uh, Allah is a very good historian, and we showed you that many times. Like as, as an example, Allah, he knew the story of how Solomon, he went to school, and he learned the language of the birds. This is God. God who created the heaven and the earth and the galaxies. He is telling us about the prophet he went to school of Hori Buter and he taught him the language of the birds. This is God. This is a very cute God. And there were gathered before Solomon his host of jinn and men and birds. How God he knew this unless he is God. He discovered that Solomon he have an army of chickens. You tell me. If Allah is not God, how he learned that Solomon, he learned the language of the birds. I am Solomon. I, I speak the language of the birds. And what make it more funny, that Solomon, he speak the language of the birds, and then two meters after, he understand the language of the ants. How Allah knew this if he is not God? In case you do not know, ants don't talk. They communicate, yes, by vibration or chemical. So no matter what language Suleiman he learned, language of birds or learned of a chicken, ants are mute and they are deaf. In Arabic it says, قالت نملة. قالت means she said. O oh, ants, enter your dwelling, lest Suleiman destroy you. And what is driving me crazy about this Quran is how she knew that the name of the king is Solomon. I mean, she is an ant at the end of the day. See, listen, the ant, she saw an army. She is warning her friends about this army. I got it. But the ant, she knew the name of the king. That is driving me crazy. Muslims, do you think this ant, she watch Fox News? How she knew the name of the king? Mm -hmm. To be fair, Christian does not support science, but when it's come to morality, it's better than what Islam. Thank you, Mister, my friend. To be fair, but who, first of all, who said to you that we believe in God based on science? Your science is a joke, and I can prove it to you. A little virus is making you do poo poo in your pants. So don't talk about your science. You don't have none. Science. What science? A little mosquito make you do poo poo. And when they make a medicine for you, they say to you, 
and they speak about it fast. This medicine can cause heart attack, bleeding. So this medicine will kill you, is made to heal you. And they call it science. If you go right now and watch the commercial on YouTube about any medicine you wish, any, anything, you will see, okay, you have, you have, uh, you have a heart, uh, you have a headache, take this medicine, will stop the headache immediately. You have migraine, but be careful. This medicine can cause heart attack, liver bleeding, stomach bleeding, serious, serious uh, or cancer. I mean, all of this to stop headache, I will get all those illness because of this science. I didn't see science. We don't believe in God because of science. Which science says that a woman, she can give birth and she is a virgin? We believe this is not science. That's why it's called miracle. And you yourself, your science can't explain anything. You have theories. science even when you go to the clinic of, uh, of a dentist he make you sign 10 papers and he make you feel that you are going to die in his chair because obviously he's so sure from his science but no no you have to sign here before you go i mean what i would do i would take off my teeth right yeah exactly you have to sign here mm -hmm. yeah and there it says read it it says you might die you are not responsible So we don't believe in God because of science, and science proves nothing really. Science is subjective of knowledge, which is temporary. However, we have verses in the Bible speaking about the globe of the earth hang on nothing thousands of years ago. It took those scientists thousands of years after to figure it out. But we never say our book is a book of science. It's not. When somebody says to you, the Big Bang, and then what is the Big Bang? They say to you, something explode. But how something explode if there was nothing? I mean, this is a very stupid theory. If was there was nothing, how nothing explode? You say, no, there's energy. Okay, you just say this is what created everything. And do you have a proof? It's a theory. Here we have maybe some atheists, and I find atheists, by the way, they are cute. The, the problem in my town, they don't allow us to grow atheists in the backyard. An atheist, he come to argue and debate with you that he used to be an ape. My friend, you won, you are a monkey, what I can say? I give up. The only bad thing, I don't have bananas. So thanks to Joe Biden, there's no banana in the shelves. Even the one who want to speak about science, he trying to convince you that he is an, he's an animal. And he used to be a monkey. Okay, you are a monkey. Once I was debating an atheist, he got me busted. He said to me, Christian Prince, do you like bananas? You know, for me, with good heart, I did not think about it. I said, yes. He said, see, he used to be a monkey before. Can you believe it? He got me busted. And not only that, he said to me, Christian Prince, where are you from? I said, from the Middle East. He said, aren't you very hairy? He said, extremely hairy. Even once they kicked me out from the swimming pool because they thought I'm wearing a fur. But it was just my hair. He said, see, this is the proof that originally you are a monkey. Atheist. The funny is, the Muslim, they tried to prove to you that Jews, Allah made them monkeys. Atheists, they tried to prove to you that a human they used to be monkeys. Two opposite direction. But obviously, both are lost their mind. If those who used to be a monkey, they become a human. Why do we still have monkeys? Didn't we all be out of them? All of them became a human now? Huh? Hmm.
Do we have any Abdul? Maybe, maybe. Any last Abdul? Last call. We will take one more call. For a snack. I'm hungry. Allah, he knew the future, brother. Allah, he knew. And then Allah, he tell us what nobody knows, brother. Do you know that the first school opened in the earth for teaching her reporter? It was made by Allah. Do you know that? And now if a Muslim call me, I said to him, read. He said, I will not read. I call you to ask question. I cannot believe it that there is a God. He claimed that he sent two angels down to earth to open Hori Putter school. The same guy will call again and he will tell me, I, you did not answer me. I didn't. Are you sure? Let's see, we will try with this Abdul. Yeah, Har Har Harut, who do you mean? Who is Harut? I said, yeah, hello. Hello, how are you, my friend? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. What do you think about the story of Harut and Marut? You lied about me. You cut the phone on, on me. You cut the phone and then you tell everyone you I cut the phone, I a liar. I, I cut everyone I, to cut the fire, I a liar. What does that mean? So are you going to read? I answered you. Are you going to answer or not? Do you think, what do you think of Harut and Marut? <laughs> See, so now you jump to Harut If you Marut, don't huh? answer me, I will ask Harut Marut to make a spell on you and will make you divorce your wife. Do you understand? I don't have a wife, but if you have Okay, a, in the future, that will happen to you. Is it a true that Allah, is it a true that Allah, he sent two angels to teach, open a school, to teach magic, and the purpose is to make the husband and the wife fight? Yes or no? Uh, yes, I can answer that. But okay, go ahead. Answer, okay, you answer me first. Is I answered you already. I answered you already. Are you, are you, are you, are you going to stay? Are you going to stay as a kid? Okay, let me, let me use my black magic now. Uh, is it true that your prophet, by the way, was infected by black magic? And he imagined himself having sex with the wife. But in fact, it was the pillow. Okay, CCP, you jump from one I answered, I answered you. And you don't want to answer about anything. Okay, you know what? I will change the topic for you. You are the one who no. said, you are the one who said, but, you are going to talk about knowing the future. Do your God Allah know the future? Uh, yes, he knows the future, but Jesus okay, did not. So, okay, no, okay, no problem. I answer you about that. It's up to you. No problem. I answer about that. So let us go and see if Allah knows the future. Is that okay? No, but, but first tell so me So you don't how, want to talk about uh, it. So you, so yes, you, I do. So you break your, you break I, your promise. I answered you already. No, and I have nothing more to I, say. That's it. I, I'm done. I answer you. Who cares if you accept or not? I answered you. Are you going to listen? Be a man. You promise me. You promise me. Are you going to keep your promise or not? But are you going to keep your promise? I answered you already. I'm done. No, but are you are you going to keep your promise? I answered you. Yes, I keep my promise. Did I answer you? But you said you answered me three three God. Now I'm confused. Even more confused. Okay, so here we go. You are more confused because you are a donkey. That's not my fault. We never said he is God. You know, you're just a donkey. Get lost. Potato, go do muta, go. And now let me use the authority of Harut and Marut on you. You don't, they don't want to talk about Islam because Islam is an embarrassment. And if the problem is Jesus do not know the day of judgment, this is a problem for you. Well, Jesus, he is the judge in the judgment day. That make him God alone. Because only God can judge. Because only God can know what you are hiding from him. So when your stupid prophet agree that Jesus will judge people, Hakam al he said. Absolute just and justice. Who can do that except Jesus? Who is God? You see, when you come in the front of a judge, you can lie to the judge, you can even fool the judge. If you get him two false witnesses, he will believe you. If you kill somebody and two people witness that you were with them, even they are lying, they're out. 
But you cannot do that with God, for he knew everything. So when the Quran says, and when the stupid Muhammad in the Hadith says, Jesus will judge in the judgment day, that confirm who is Jesus. When the Quran says that Jesus knew what you are hiding in your houses, that confirm who is Jesus. And when your God says that Harut and Marut are sent by Allah to open a school in the Babylon Tower, Allah is being Hori Booter. This Abdul is worried about Jesus, if he is God or not. But he is not worried about his prophet being a child molester. Not worried about the prophet says, any believing woman, she want to give her vagina to me. So I can boom, boom her. He's not. He's not worried about God. He went to the tower of Babylon. And he sent two angels. But listen carefully. Those angels will not teach you magic unless you sign a disclaimer. I'm serious. They say to you before they teach you, when they teach anyone, those angels, they will not teach you unless they say to you, we are only for a trial. So disbelieve not by learning magic from us. Like what the heck? So learning magic from them, make them disbelieve? So why you are teaching them magic? And then they give them the reason for them to be sent by Allah. They said, and the people learn from them by which they cause separation between the man and his wife. Allah, he sent two angels to open a school to teach us magic. So we can increase the number of divorce. This is the reason of divorce. Somebody put a spell on you. Shakatu kakaku. Ahahaha. Hu hu hu. I will put a spell on all of you. And you will get divorced even if you are single. What the heck? That is God. Hmm. All right, I think we are done for today. Do we have a good time, guys? Eliza, did you do you want to call to leave Islam? Are you feeling like you want to leave Islam? If you like to call and announce that you are out of Islam, I will be happy for you. And don't worry about people, you know. We will pray for you anyway. No, I wasn't speaking in tongue. I was making, I was making the spell on you. You know. Okay, if you don't believe me now, go to the uh, okay, go to the living room. Try to speak to your wife, she will shout at you. And guess what? She will say to you, are you happy now? You spend the night listening to this guy, this Arab guy who don't even speak good English? I cannot take it no more, I'm leaving. Just wait, my spell will work. Hello? Hello. Yes, Eliza, how are you? I'm okay. So what do you think? Your brothers, you know, they could not answer me. What we can do? I do have an answer. You have the answer? Yeah, if you go to chapter 3. Okay. Chapter 3, where in the Quran? Verse, yep. Okay, what verse? Verse 195. 195. Okay, Wait, tell me about it, what it says. It says, male or female, you're what? both equal in reward. What does that mean? What does it have to do with our topic? You said that we had less rewards because of menstruation. No, you don't have a reward at all. You will go to hell. But in the Quran, it says we're both equal. You are not equal. First of all, God, he promised men, a lot of women in heaven. Did God promise you a lot of men in heaven? But he's not going to say everything. No, he said that already. He said that Allah, he promised men 
women who nobody touched their private part and trying to be not to be rude using the filthy language he used. So he said, Yat Muthahun, which means nobody made them ble bleed in their vagina. Correct? I don't know. Well, I know. This is the Quran, chapter 55, verse number 56. Chapter 55, but, verse number 74. Now you mentioned to me chapter 3, not what, what verse? 195. Okay, 195, this is a contradiction. Because if women and men, they are equal, then you should have the same as the men have, correct? But we do. No, you don't. The, the, the man will have virgins, you will not have virgins, do you? We can ask for it. No, you cannot. Allah, he decide. You yourself, not. you yourself, you will be in the lap of a Muslim man. And not only that, he have 72 versions and he will spend 70 years with each one of them. So if we calculate the numbers, do you have a phone to calculate with me? Okay. Okay. So when Muhammad, he said, every woman, let us open the calculator. The people, they can help us in the chat. So if every, every woman, uh, she will, if every, every, every time a, a Muslim, he will have sex with his wife, uh, he will spend 70 years just for the orgasm. So let us do this. Uh, calculator, let me open it. Why are you telling me about this? To show you that this is not what, uh, you know, this is not, uh, not what you just said. Because the man, he is spending his time with a lot of women, and you don't have, you have only one man. And the Quran is saying clearly that you will be jailed in the tent of your husband, which he have a lot of women, correct? Not me. You are a Muslim, aren't you? Not me, the, um, the Hural Ain. No, you and them, and this is the Quran, is it clear? No. What do you mean no? That was the Huris. Well, my, my friend, no, it says with them, there will be women who they are jailed in their tents. This verse doesn't say Huris or anything. If we read, we will see that all the wives of a Muslim man, they will be re in restrained, jailed inside their tents. The verse in the front of you, chapter 37, verse number 48. Mm. Wait. And do you know anywhere where the Quran says you will have men to sleep with? No. You will be sleeping with one man, and this man, he will have a lot of women beside you. Let me see one second. They're talking about maidens, not me. No, this is you included. Let us explain it. Here we go. We know, you know, you know that Muhammad, he can explain the Quran better than you and me, right? Yeah. Okay. We go and see what Muhammad, he said. And by the way, the number, the number of uh, females, this is the event in how, how good, how bad the Muslim is. The lowest, the lowest Muslim, he will have 72. The lowest. Uh, let us see here. Um, here we go. Muhammad, he said, swearing by Allah, the lowest of the people of paradise in position is the one with 80,000 servants and 72 wives, he shall have a tent of pearls. Do you see it? And then different yeah. hadith says, different hadith says that 72 wives, 70 is the virgins and two wives of his wives on earth. But what has that got to do with deficiency in this planet? Well, what this, what you gave me have to do with deficiency in the planet too. Because if your prophet said the majority of people of hellfire, there will be women, that's mean you might be included. 
No, because our sins, our deeds are equal. How you are equal? Okay, if you are equal, then should not be the majority of the people of hell are women. Because the Quran comes first, not the what Hadith. What comes first? The Quran. Okay, let us let us go by the Quran. So when the Quran says, according to you, the Quran comes first, not the Hadith. But isn't it the Quran says the Quran is a Hadith? Yeah, but it's the most reliable. Well, it's a Hadith anyway. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to look at that one first. Okay, so according to, uh, you know, in Islam today, the man, he can marry four wives, right? Yeah. Okay, you said the Quran says we are equal. Okay. So how you are equal, but he can have four, you can have only one. Because back in the day, the women weren't working that much. But, so they couldn't but, provide but, uh, for their families. Uh, this is not a reason. Muhammad himself, he used to work for Khadija. Which means Muhammad himself, he is making his income from a woman. That is not an excuse. That means Khadija, she can have four husbands. Because as you see, Muhammad, he cannot make money. He have to work for Khadija. So now Khadija, she can afford it. So she can have four Muhammad. Was she rich? She was very rich. That's why Muhammad is working for her. How do you know she was rich? You Muslim says that. The hadith and stories. She was the most rich woman in Quraysh. Mm. So if the woman she is, if the man, because he have money, he can have four wives. Well, that's mean if a woman she have money, then she have she can have four wives, four husbands. Where is the fear? If Islam making you treating you equally, then you should have four husbands too. Don't you like to have four husbands? But they were allowed because it was a long time ago in okay, the wars. Is it the Quran is for every time? You are the one who mentioned to me that Quran says you are equal. It was at that time. No, like they couldn't provide for their families because they didn't who, who, work. Who said so? I just gave you an example of Khadija. Can Khadija have four Muhammad? Yeah, but he was prophet. So what? A, 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 a prophet should God provide to him, not his wife? But he did make Khadija, so he did provide her. He provided her with what? He could not even have her give her babies. No, he provided Prophet Muhammad what with pro Khadija. So his job is to be a prophet and she is the one who spent his, her money on him. But Allah created her. Okay, so what if Allah created her? Look, the Quran says, because men they spend in their property on women, therefore the women they have to be obedient, and even the man he can beat them, correct? No, because in a hadith it says the best of you are those who are best to the wives. By beating them, the best of you is the one who is good to his wife. How? You force her to obey you, you give her food. That's it. Isn't it Muhammad who ordered you in the Quran, chapter four? Verse number 34, to beat their wives if you fear their rebellion? No, he said that those who beat the wives are not the best among you. No, actually, he said the opposite. Those who complain about their husband beating them is not the best of you. You are getting the hadith wrong. Wait, show me. Okay, give me the hadith you are talking about, so be sure we are talking about the same thing. Because I want to put the hadith you are choosing in the screen, not mine. Um, can I send you the link? Send me the text, not the link. I don't open link. Go ahead. I sent to you. Okay. And now you will see that the hadith what is not what you are saying. I did not get anything. Um
D C. It is C. Okay, hang up. Maybe if you hang up, it's going to come. Hang up. It is C. I think you are sending it to the wrong person. I will receive nothing. Try again. Are you posting it in the in Skype or in the chat? Because is she posting it in the chat? Because I was looking in Skype. Okay, for some reason I get nothing from you. Uh, can you post it in the chat? I don't see anything. <clears throat> Post the hate in the chat. So everybody can see it. Guys, did she post anything? You see it? Okay, let me go. Oh, Riyad al Salihin, hadith number 279. Okay. But you did not post the text, right? Okay, let's see. Hold on. Let me search for this book. Let me void the screen and everybody will start laughing in a second. Let me call you back. See, the reason they are deceived because most times the add things is not in the text. Hello. Okay, I want you to read for me. Mm -hmm. This is the Sahih version of the Hadith. This is, you see in the screen, it says Sahih. Do you see it? Okay. Okay. Read for me. Those who do so, that is, those who take beating to their wives are not the best among you. Many women have gone around Muhammad family, complain against their husbands. They are not the best amongst you. Do you see it? No, it says those who take beating to their wives are not the best. This is a false translation. I'm showing you this is your Islamic website, the same website you are asking me to read from. And this is where he is coming from. This guy, this translation you see, the hadith you gave me from Riyadh al-Salihin, it says Abu Dawood, with Sahih chain, correct? Mm. So, so this is a guy copying Abu Dawood. The hadith you gave me. But this is Abu Dawood. This is the original one. And it's Sahih. It says many women have gone around Muhammad family complain against their husbands. Those women, they are not the best amongst you. <laughs> so they lie. It's the opposite. Hi. So what those women, they are doing? They are complaining. Muhammad saying that those women who they are complaining, 
They are not the best amongst you. I know. So the hadith you gave me is the opposite from what they told you, and this is a false translation, the one you are reading. It's not the men who they are beating their wives are the, not the best, because the Quran gave them permission to, to beat their wives. And you will see here, Omar, read carefully. Okay. Omar here it says, uh, Omar is saying that those women are doing etc. Omar himself is the one who said, that a man should not be asked why he is beating his wife. لا يسأل الرجل Omar he said to confirm the hadith here. And this is again from the same book you are asking me to read it from. Abi Dawood. Omar reported the messenger of Allah saying a man will not be asked about why he beat his wife. Do you see it? Hmm. My is loading. Delays. No problem. It's going to open. Omar reported that the Prophet is saying a man will not be asked about why he beat. But it's not Bukhari. Okay, but the hadith you gave me is not Bukhari too. But it's Sahib Muslim. I, the hadith I gave you is Sahih. No, the hadith you say you gave me is not Sahih Muslim. It's Riyadh al Salihin. But it's, it says. It is you sahih. who. No, it says Sahih in chain. This is not Sahih Muslim. The name of the book is Riyadh al Salihin. Hadith number 279. This is the one you'll post in the chat, correct? I know, but it says Sahih. So. The, okay, and the, and the one I'm showing you is Sahih. And this is coming from Abu Dawood. The hadith that you asked me to say. read, the hadith you asked me to read is from Abu Dawood book. This guy is just copying. And I just showed you what Abu Dawood he said. He said exactly the meaning. And now here, when Omar he says, uh, uh, a man will not be asked about why he is beating his wife. Uh, this is present to us what Islam teach. A man, he can beat his wife and nobody can question. Can anyone question? Your, can anyone question a man for beating his wife in Islam? Why is your chat making fun of me? It's like one in the morning. Who is making fun of you? And they're saying I'm sleepy robot voice. Okay, I guess be easy. You know, let's finish the conversation with her. So anyway, guys, uh, I, I cannot really tell you more than this. I mean, first of all, do you respect a man who beat you? No. Why not? Because it's not good. Why it's not good? I thought you, you, you trust the Quran. No, it doesn't say that in the Quran. It says that in the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 34. Wait, let me check. One second. What number? Chapter 4, verse number 34. Mm. Well, it says lightly. Huh? It says lightly. Nowhere in the Quran it says lightly. If the Quran is saying the word lightly, I will shave my 25 meter beard. Can you show me the word lightly in the verse? Yeah, in Yusuf Ali. This is a false translation. Is it between two brackets? Yeah. Okay, this is why it's it's false. It's why it's between two brackets. Nowhere it says lightly. And secondly, so if I beat you lightly, is okay for you? But that's the last thing to do. Doesn't matter, last thing, or and I am the one who decide that the, the Quran never says first and second and third. This is false. I can jail you in your room. I can force you not to have sex with me because a penalty. I have four wives. I will sleep with the rest of them, and they will throw you like a rat in your room, jail you. That's and not then, very nice. Well, this is what it says. Mm. Did anyone ever, did beat you, any man did beat you before? Maybe.
maybe. How would it feel? Do you like it? No. Did you call the police for him? Yeah. Why you call the police? Because you're not allowed to do that. But if he's a Muslim, he's allowed. Aren't you a Muslim too? Yeah, but it wasn't lightly. Well, nowhere in the Quran it says lightly. Here we go. A woman, she came to Muhammad and her husband did beat her until he made her skin greener. Muhammad, he took the side of the man. And this is the hadith in front of you. They're telling me like I'm a child, but I can read the surahs if they want me to. Okay, listen. This is a woman. She came to Muhammad and he did beat her. You read with me. Aisha, she said. Uh, she showed her a green spot in her skin caused by beating. Is that a light beating? If somebody calls you green spots in your skin? No. Okay, so why, the, why, they, why they lie to you and it says this is a, green, a light beating? Here we go. The man he did beat his wife until he made her skin greener than her clothing. Did Muhammad say to him, shame on you? Read the story. He took his side. Mm. I can give you the link. I will send it to you in your Skype. You take your time and read it. I don't want you to be in, in this, um, you know, false religion, Eliza. This is garbage. There's no God will teach such, such a thing. Jesus in the Bible, he taught us that the man, he should love his wife. The woman, she obey her husband, yes. But the man, he should sacrifice himself the same as Christ. He give himself to the church. So the Messiah, he taught the Christian man, you are the Lord of your house. The women, she obey you. But you should be as a Christ was for the church. He gave himself. He sacrificed himself. He is not your slave. You cannot harm her. Here, a woman, she come to Muhammad seeking rescue that her husband, he did beat her until her skin is greener than her clothes. Muhammad, he took the side of the man against the women. And he said to her, if you think you can go back to your previous husband, you better know that you cannot go back until he tastes your juice and you taste his juice. Do you see how faithy is that? What do you think of a prophet of God telling the women that this man, he have to sleep with you and he have to taste your orgasm and you have to taste his orgasm. And then if he divorces you, you go back to your previous husband. Is that a good... Uh, Mm, that is to avoid divorce in the first place. What avoid divorce? The Muslim, they still divorce anyway. Here we go. The woman, she is divorced. Muhammad, he said to them, if you divorce three times, she can't go back to your previous husband, right? And this, you sleep with a different guy. So now, Muhammad, he did not save the marriage. And now the poor woman, she married a new husband just to go back to her children. And now the new husband is beating her. There's a guy in the Egyptian TV, I showed you in the, in the other day. He married 33 or 34 women. I forgot the exact number. And he is trying to fix the relationship with their husband. That's why he married them. Supposedly, he is a good guy. They pay him money to sleep with the divorced wife for a day or two or three. And then she can go back to her previous husband. I can actually I can show I can search for it right now in Google. Here we go. Yeah, but it's part of the religion. This is the because religion. The religion already, says you cannot go back. You cannot go back to your previous husband. This. Huh? I already know about this. Okay, but isn't it your prophet? He says that you cannot back, go back to your husband unless you sleep with a different guy. Yeah. Okay. What about Muhammad? He punished the man for divorce in three three times. Why he's, why he's punishing the women? It's the women now she have to find a new guy. And she is the one who have to take off her clothes and sleep with a stranger. And as you see, this woman, she is sleeping with a guy she don't like. She don't want to sleep with. He's forcing her for sex. So, if the man should be punished, because he is the one who divorced, then Muhammad should say to him, you know what, if you divorce three, three, three times, you can't even marry her again, or I will beat you. I will beat you 100 lashes. 
what what in the world the wisdom of forcing the woman now to marry a new husband so she can go to the previous husband what is fair about that here we yeah, go I, even... I found it in the news i found it in the news okay i will show it to everybody but even in the bible you have to stay the woman has to stay at home to look after her family what does have to do with our topic does the bible says you beat your wife no, but I'm just telling you how it was well, before. Where she would go at that time, that she would work in Amazon? Women, they have to have only one job. It's their children. If they are farmers, they work in the field too. So why, why you are mixing things up? We are talking about women beating. So if, if, if you are against beating, the Quran allowed beating, and then you say to me that your husband, or wherever you married from, he was your husband, the one who did beat you? No. Who was he? I don't want to talk about Okay. Him. You called the police for him. Yeah. Obviously because you're against it, right? Yeah. Okay. But if you are married and you are an Islamic family, Islamic country, according to Islam, as we showed you, a man should not be asked why he is beating his wife. So if you call the police and you live, let us say, in Saudi Arabia, the police will say to you, well, a man should not be asked why he is beating his wife. Where does it say that? It's in, in front of you. Oh, sorry, there's delays. Omar reported that the Prophet saying, which means the one who's saying that is Muhammad, a man should not be questioned why he is beating his wife. Hmm. But it doesn't say so he. Ah, here we go. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. It doesn't say so he. That's it. The Quran says that, and now it doesn't say so he. It doesn't say so he. What we can do? A Muslim saying, uh, Arwa. Arwa saying, Kalimat Udrubu fil ard ay imshu wa safiru wa ta'idu wa amalu. The Arwa is being smart, saying the word Udrubu does not mean uh, beat them. So it look like your prophet and his companion, they are a bunch of idiots, do not know Arabic. So if it means stay away from them, why the Quran saying already stay away from them? Jail them in their room. And if the word Udrubu hunna, Mean stay go away. It says Udrubu Hunna, not Udrubu Ful Ard. The potatoes. And if we go and read all the interpretation of the Muhammadan, are we going to find one of them agreeing with what you say? No. So are they those people? They are people who speak Arabic? Yes. Is the cousin of Muhammad who lived in the time of Muhammad know Arabic? Yes. Is he a cousin of Muhammad? Yes. Is he the one who Muhammad, he prayed that Allah will make him the ink of the nation to explain the Quran? Yes. So all those yes, they were wrong, including your prophet. This is Ibn Abbas. I can show you Al-Jalalayn, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Ibn Kathir. So all of them now, they are wrong. And you are the one who knows what the word means. This guy is copying from a book of a woman, uh, she converted to Islam and she said, the Quran never says beat them. It says, it's, go away, travel from them. <laughs> no, my friend, I'm losing my patient. You see, I have, I, am a, I have a limited patient and almost I'm out of it. I cannot give a brain to someone who don't want to have a brain. Maybe you have more patient than me, you can go live. And Muslim, they will call you and you speak to them for, I'm here speaking now for the last, what? Four hours and 24 minutes. Screaming and shouting. And you are sitting, drinking your coffee and tea. And then you tell me to have more patience. Hmm? I don't know what more patient I can do. So all Muslims agree, Muhammad the Hadith, I just showed you the Hadith is Sahih. The man, he did beat his wife. Did Muhammad say to him even once, why in the world you are beating her?
Allah was saying, why you are speaking to people who don't have good knowledge? Call me, show me your knowledge. Prove it. Instead of complaining, taking hair from my beard, playing with it, saying, why your beard is so long? Call me and show me your beard. They, she have no beard. You are the man. Call. So you complain that she is calling, and I, you are complaining because I'm listening to her, but you yourself don't dare to call me because you're a potato. And this is the interpretation. And what make it more funny, that those women, they did not do anything yet. In Arabic, it says, You fear they will do nushud. They did not do anything. Beat them. Strike them. And if they obey you, stop beating them. So Muslims these days who try to defend Islam, they fabricate tons of stories. Says it in first, it says first, it says second. Where is first? Where is second? Show me. I want to learn. Islam is man-made religion made by the man for the man. All of us we knew that. Even heaven is the heaven of the man. There's a video, it's called The Description of Paradise, made by the Dean Show. If you watch it, you will die laughing. Actually, once I played this video in a church seminar. Literally, especially with my comment, and you know how my comment is, you know, you know the thing. People did fall in the floor from laughing. When you go to heaven, brother, before you enter the heaven, there's two angels waiting for you. The first one, brother, will say to you, brother, welcome, brother. And they will give you a drink of water to drink. One will make you have diarrhea and all your guilt will come out. The other one will make you tall and will make you 33 years old like Jesus and 30 meters tall like Adam. And the funny in the video, the sheikh, he said to this other sheikh, nobody can describe for you the heaven. And let me describe it for you. I mean, a second ago, he said, nobody can describe the heaven. A second after, he says, let me describe it for you. And then when you enter the heaven, you do not need GPS. An angel will take you. I mean, if you if you watch the video, you will die laughing. This is a sheikh from Lazar University. Later, he was begging for money to stay in America, trying all the trick he can so he can stay in the country. Brother, brother, Allah every Friday will send you a card. It is a beautiful question actually because all of us longing for Jannah, the paradise. Some people call it paradise in English, some people call it garden in English. Um, we say Jannah. Now, the meaning of Jannah something unseen, you cannot see. Hmm. Unseen. And then he will say, I cannot describe it for you. And then a second after, he will say, Let me describe it for you. The world, for example, the baby in the womb of the mother, we call it Janine. That means you cannot see the baby. The paradise, the paradise, because you cannot see the paradise, we call it Jannah also. Okay, now we got it, we got it. Okay, tell us about the Jannah. You cannot see evil. You cannot see, we call it Jinn. So the word Jannah from something we cannot see right now, surrounded by something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for us. Huh. And the Jannah, Allah prepared the Jannah himself by his own hands. By his own hand. Take, take a note, not by his tail, by his own hand. Which hand? How do we get to Jannah? Because... Yeah, how we go to Jannah, go and kill some Christians, some Jews, and some Hindus. And lie to your wife, and lie to your friend, and lie to the enemy. 
and do some child molestation like the Prophet. Will of Allah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He give us a lot of ways. To a lot of ways to go to heaven, brother. A lot, a lot of ways. Okay, describe for the Jannah. Can you describe it, please? More into detail on how to get to Jannah, but why don't you start to paint more of a vivid picture for our audience so they can really like start to see it because they see the dollar. And uh, they compare their Jannah to dollar. I mean, this is a good description. Dollar. Paint us a picture of Jannah. Let me tell you something here. In the Jannah, there's a hadith the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's why I mentioned this hadith in the beginning. So whatever you can imagine or speak uh, or describe the Jannah, you're not going to describe the Jannah the way is the Jannah is. Because the Prophet Sallallahu said in no, authentic, authentic uh, hadith, he say, Fil Jannah, in the paradise, ma la ra'at. There is no such eyes can even see. And this is copying, this is from the Old Testament. Something like the Jannah. وَلَا أُدُنٌ سَمِعَتْ Not even the ears, you cannot even hear about the true Jannah. But for sure in, in the Old Testament don't speak about Jannah. Anyway, continue. Because the Jannah is beyond what you are hearing. وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرٍ You cannot imagine, you cannot see, you cannot think about it. And now let, let it away, he will say, let me describe it for you. You cannot even imagine, you cannot even describe or... or you cannot even describe, brother. You cannot even describe. And a second after you said, let me describe it for you. Think what is the Jannah. Uh, before, let me describe something beautiful about your cat. You just say it, I can't describe it for you. You just say that. And now he will describe for you how your castle look like. Tell me about the castle. Castle. Your castle in the Jannah. It's something so beautiful. Your castle in the Jannah has four doors. Four doors, brother. Your castle in the Jannah have four doors. What do you want more? Come on. Don't you want to have a, a castle with four doors? Okay, why we have four doors? You enter from one door. No way. I will enter from one door. I cannot enter from the four doors at the same time. That's amazing. And one door or one gate, your servants from... All kind of servants would come and enter to help you. You have 70,000 servants. 70,000 servants. All of them, they are boys. This is Islam. 70,000 little boy in the heaven to serve you. Slavery of boys in heaven. Abuse of a children's. Did he say boys? It's not me who said the word boys. 70,000 little boys. What a sick cult. So this is what they are dreaming of. Penis, boys, wine. And this is heaven. When I was doing the seminar in the church, and those people start laughing, especially with my comment, and I say, stop. <laughs> I remember once there was a guy, he's really big, he's kind of heavy, heavy duty. So he, you know, he starts sweating like crazy. And then he failed. The chairs are made from plastic. All the chairs are plastic. It was a stadium, you know, for basketball because a lot of people came. So uh, he failed. When he, when he failed, he opened his hands to balance himself. And then all those who they are in the left and the right, they fell down with him. There was a guy, he was a principal in a school. And they told me before, I, before he showed up, we invited him to come today. And he, you know, uh, I, I, we hope that he will, he will listen to you because he is thinking to convert to Islam. Imagine he is a principal of a school. And then when he, when, when he come, I told them, give me a sign which one is he, you know, I do not know. So one of the brothers, he's, he walked behind him and he pointed his finger at his head to tell me this is the guy. So when I was talking, uh, I start asking him a question, you know, to see what his response for what he say. And then he said, but this is not what they told me about Islam. I said, well, I'm, as you see, I'm showing you videos. It's not me who's saying that. This is the sheikhs. 
this is their TV, and I'm just playing the video for you. And then the more videos we play, the more the guy, he said, I can't believe I was going to convert to this religion. They lied to me. When he saw the story of Solomon and the ant and the hood and the women who have no hair in her legs and all the madness, the guy, he could not believe that he was going to convert to such a garbage cult. We can explain to you, we can share with you, but we cannot give you brain. The brain is yours. I cannot give you a brain. If a person decides to be a stupid, this is his business. Anyway, guys, it's time for me to go. It's already 5 hours 29 minutes. It's really, uh, there's two things I need to go. First, I need to go to meet Allah in, the, in, in a room, you know it. And uh, because I'm the only one who's talking, I can't even take a break to, to make some tea or anything. And uh, I think we have more than enough. Feel free to download my videos, cut them pieces, share them with your friends. And now notice what the Muslims, they will make comment. The Muslims, they never answer the question we are posting in every video we make. Why Allah did kill Muhammad? The Quran says that every human being die only by the permission of Allah. So why Muhammad, Allah did not save him? Yet, Jesus, according to Quran, was saved by Allah. Why Allah killed Muhammad? Because as long as the Muslims believe that everyone who die is a decree from Allah. That means Muhammad he died by the decree of Allah. Which means Allah is the one who ordered the death of Muhammad. It's a decree. No human will die. Unless it's Allah decree. How you die, it's Allah who decide. When you die, it's Allah who decide. So when Muhammad he died by poison, it was Allah who decide that Muhammad will be killed by poison. But this woman who killed him by poison, she said to Muhammad, I am putting poison for you to examine if you are a prophet. If you are a prophet, your God, Allah, will save you. A Muslim guy, he just texted me, and he gave me some Quran. Obviously, you are practicing too much muta. And that's why your mouth is very filthy, like your prophet. We don't want to hear you anyway, with your filthy mouth. Coward. When Muhammad, he says, I find that I am dying and my altar is being cut off. And then we find the Quran saying, if Muhammad is lying, Allah will cut his artery. That confirmed that Muhammad again is a fraud. So the death of Muhammad proving to us that Muhammad is absolutely a fraud. And then watch, you will see the Muslims when they post in the comment, they will not talk about how Muhammad died. They will not answer why the Quran says something about if Muhammad is lying, Allah will cut his artery and the hadith confirm that this is how he died. And as long as the Quran confirmed that the, everyone is dying because it's a destiny by Allah. It's a decree by Allah. That's mean Muhammad, he died. 
has a decree from Allah. And Allah is the one who killed him. The question why? Not only that, the Quran, when the Quran decree says the decree of death, not only about Muhammad. Muslim, they claim that Muhammad kids they killed too or died by poison. And the poison here, some Shia they say that Aisha, she is the one who poisoned her kids. However, the general population of the Muslim they say that they die in a normal death. Either way, it was Allah who decided their destiny to die. Why? Why? So Muhammad's death is destiny from Allah. The woman she put in poison for Muhammad, it was destiny from Allah. The woman she is quoting the death of Muhammad and the suffering of Muhammad was destiny from Allah. Why Allah is doing this to Muhammad? I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is the reason. When somebody die by cancer or anything, the Muslim, they start making mockery of him as what happened to our brother, ex-Muslim, Nabil Qurashi. If death is a penalty in Islam and you make mockery of the one who died by because of his illness or anything, Muhammad, his kids, even his own family, his grandchildren, all they were slaughtered. And as long all death happened by the permission of Allah. Why Allah ordered the death of Muhammad family, Muhammad himself, children of Muhammad, his grandsons? A question no Muslim can answer. In the same time, the Abdul, they flood us saying that Jesus was saved by Allah. So Jesus was saved by Allah, Muhammad, his children, his grandsons, all die by the order of Allah. The one who killed Muhammad is Allah. How much Allah he hate Muhammad. And not to forget to mention that this woman, when she said, if your God save you, that's mean you're a prophet. And then Muhammad, he says, Allah will not allow you. And then we find that Muhammad himself, he confessed that he is dying because of the poison. Islam is a mockery. And Muhammad, he died in a death he deserved. But we are happy for him. He will be routing in hellfire. And judgment day will come. And the Messiah, he will be the judge. And Muhammad will get more of what he deserves. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And I hope more Muslims will leave Islam. And we prayed for this lady, poor lady, to leave this cult. And trust me, a tsunami is coming. And more and more Muhammadan are going to leave like tsunami. God bless you and see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. We prove it every day. Oh, that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Our youth are full of doubt. And that is Muslim youth leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Child is about to become apostate. Your child is about to become apostate. In America, this is the last thing. 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims. American born That's Muslims. Right. Yeah. Well, like, so one of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their apostasy to me. Do you know how many Muslims became atheists today? Polls conducted in the Muslim world reveal that up to 5% of Muslims in some of the most conservative Muslim countries in the world are closet atheists. Addressing their parents 
their family and telling them, I don't believe in Allah. I don't believe that Muhammad وسلم, was a messenger of Allah. I don't believe that the Quran is a book of revelation. It is happening. It is happening continuously. It is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over.